Short sales, short sales, short sales. Y'all have heard about them. Y'all have had experiences with them. Some good, some bad, but we are about to make your life a whole lot easier. Coming right up. Tampa Bay! My name is Barry Horvath. <laughs> and I am Delyn Guest, and welcome to Moving Forward TV, your local real estate and mortgage update. Filling in for Ron Morris is Barry Horvath, and we are here to talk to you today about short sales. You've heard about them. Half the people, I think, are st scared to death Actually, about short sales. Actually, 60% of them scared to death about doing short sales. The rest of you, I think, are like fed up to hear with short sales, but we really can make your life a whole lot easier. That's why Barry is with us today. Here's an interesting fact. 60% of the Bay Area is currently upside down. So I often talk to realtors and they say, I don't do short sales. So I say, well, what are you doing? You're eliminating 60% of your customers. 60% of the potential business out there, that's a lot. We all know that short sales are a pain in the to deal with. But you know what, like Barry says, there's 60% of the people out there are upside down in their house. Now I do know that a lot of people are afraid and they're sitting there saying, okay, why should I bother doing a short sale? Why don't I just do a foreclosure instead? Not a good idea. That's some of the stuff that we wanted to touch on today to talk about is why it's better to do a short sale as opposed to a foreclosure. If you're a realtor out there watching this, you already know it. And we're hoping that this video you can forward on to some of the people that you are soliciting out there for their short sale business because it's obviously something that's not going away in the near future. You know, the differences between foreclosure and short sales is just enormous. Not to mention your credit score. Right. The impact on your credit score is is greatly more affected with a right. foreclosure versus short sale. Right. Your credit history, did you guys know that your a foreclosure will actually stay on your credit for at least, could be 10 years or more? And sometimes more, we've seen them lo longer. So, and not to mention security clearance, this is a big thing. If you're in public service. Policemen, firemen, CIA, military people. You could actually have your security clearance terminated. Yes. Just because of this. Right. So. And then, of course, you guys know what the job market's like out there. Um, right. Employers are now pulling credit. They're going to see this foreclosure on your record. Right. How does that stand? Right. So who are you going to hire? Me with the foreclosure or Delyn with the perfect mortgage history? Right. Or just that little short sale on her credit? Sometimes it's not enough just what's on your resume. They're starting to look deeper. And, and we didn't even talk about the end of this year the right. current tax law is changing. It's huge. It, right now, you can actually short sell your primary residence and have zero, did I say zero? Deficiency. It's zero. a big zero tax liability. <laughs> on the deficiency on, judgment. Well, on the whole but, deficiency, right. on the forgiven debt. Only until the end of 2012, starting January 1st, 2013, that law changes and the lender will be able to come after you again for the deficiency. Write your congressman. We, we here in Florida have been hit one of the hardest areas in the entire country. Yes, we have. And some of the other states are already starting it. So write, please, write your congressman, write your representatives or whatever. Get them to extend this because we're not, we are a long way from out of the water. I think we have at least. Underwater. Underwater? <laughs> out of the underwater on this. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about short sales and getting them done. A lot of you out there are doing your own short sale negotiations and things like that, or you have a title company that you're doing them with. First of all, one of the biggest things is the liability. There's, there's huge liability. Absolutely huge liability. That isn't even realized out there to, to, to try and get these things done. You need an attorney to get them done, or you need a title company to get them done. We have an attorney that we've been working with and a title company, and tell them how... how <laughs> I got to tell you, we have something unique yes. in the marketplace because we have an attorney right in our office, in-house, that's actually responding on behalf of the seller, your client, at no cost to them. For free. 
Yes, for free. For free. If it's for free, it's for me. That's what I always say. <laughs> But basically, if there's any legal matters, if he needs to respond to the foreclosures, right. he's gonna handle it. And the best part, it, there is absolutely zero cost to the seller, right. the agent, most importantly, yes. and of course the buyer, there's no fees. He simply tries to collect from the bank, and if he doesn't collect from the bank, then nobody else- Then he did that pro bono. Pro bono, absolutely. Right. He's a great guy, great attorney, and uh, the title company that, um, they, the girls there are absolutely phenomenal in getting all the paperwork. Those of you who are working with short sales know one of the biggest um, obstacles that I hear from you guys that when you're going, uh, you know, putting an offer in for somebody on a house that is being short sold is if that listing agent didn't do their upfront work to get all of the proper paperwork in line needed for that short sale. That's like the biggest complaint that I hear out there. Our girls are like phenomenal. They are right on top of that stuff. They have checklists upon checklists to make sure that every single thing is done and they have every single piece of paper in that file and they're high success rate, right? Actually, we have knock on, do we have wood around Knock on here? glass. Knock on glass. glass. We actually have a 100% success rate. See, 100%. At this time and we want to keep that going. So, we will keep that going. Absolutely. In addition to that, we help um, the people market the house and everything. We have call capture signs so that you can um, help market the home that way. We have a whole system in place, a property tracker so that you can go in. Everybody likes the equator system with Bank of America, which our girls are on as well. But we have a, an additional system so that every time something happens with that, prop every time tracker. the girls do, does something, it's called prop tracker. It's our own internal system and you guys can log on to it and see exactly what's going on in that house. Actually, every time a file is touched, there's a notification sent out to the field to everybody that is involved in the transaction. See that? All to make your life easier. So if you are a homeowner out there and you are sitting there saying, okay, foreclosure or short sale, first of all, don't be scared. I know it's overwhelming and everything, but there are great options for you. Short sale is not a bad option. It's the better option if you're considering the two of them. Some of the things they are going to ask you, they're going to delve into a little bit of your history. So some of the things that they're going to ask you for, your realtor, whoever you get in contact with. Well, the first thing that people should know is that the property does need to be listed with a real estate professional. Okay. A lot of people aren't aware of that. You don't just take a short sale and do it in your own. Can't do for sale by owner. Exactly. We need a third party authorization, which is a very simple form. We need a hardship letter. There should be a hardship involved in this. And, and it could be, hardship can be one of many things. And, and if you, you know, want to talk to us about that, we can help you right. with that. We need a, all your financial information, of course, W-2s, tax returns. Um, pay stubs. It's almost like doing a mortgage backwards. Yeah, remember when you got your mortgage, all of that paperwork you needed, guess what? You're going to need the exact same thing, except now we, we add a hardship letter to that, which of course we can certainly help you with some Absolutely. And we need structuring. Proof, we need proof of the debts that they have. Right. So there's a lot of information. It seems more overwhelming, but it's really not. And it can be a time-consuming process, so don't think it's something that's going to go like that and in three or four weeks it's going to, going to be done. It's also not real long. I know we've all had some horror stories and heard some horror stories. Some of them can be very, very long, but for the most part, if you get with somebody who knows what they're doing, who knows how to do it, it's going to go through in, in for all intents and purposes, in a normal time frame. That's our show this week. Thanks so much for watching. There is so much about short sales. It's hard to condense it down into a show like this, but we are here to help you. If you have any questions or whether, please reach out to us. We, you know, Facebook, uh, Twitter, text us, call us, email us, anything. We are here to answer your questions. It doesn't cost a dime just to reach out to us for some information. You know, realtors are in the business of helping people buy and sell real estate. Yes. So and you're good at it. And, and that's how you guys make money. That's how you get paid. So why not let us do the dirty work for you and handle all your short sales? Yes. We are here to do that for you. Please reach out to us. If you are watching the show for the first time, you can subscribe for free right over here. Please, like I said, forward this show out because this is a good one to get out to those people who might be sitting there considering a short sale to maybe help them understand a little bit more. We are today and every day moving forward. Thank you. We'll see everybody next week.